Hey everybody, it's me, LaRasha, Goddess Queen, Just Me, 23, and this is going to be another Zodiac sign reading, and Tauruses, you are up, so this is going to be for Tauruses, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as Venus and Mercury, or if you're a Taurus Quest baby, this is for you too, or if you're just guided to this video and you don't have Taurus in your chart, you're not dealing with anybody that has Taurus in their chart, maybe there's some messages in this video for you too as well, Taurus North Node, I'm including you in this reading as well. If you are a cross watcher and you're dealing with somebody that has Taurus in their chart, chart, of course, there's going to be messages in this video for you. Uh, again, if you have been guided to this video and you don't have Taurus in your chart, maybe there's some messages in this video for you as well. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everybody. If it does resonate, please like my channel, subscribe to my channel, comment as well as share. If it does not resonate, please try your moon sign as well as your rising sign, which is your ascendant sign in your birth chart. And in order to get your rising sign, which is your ascendant sign, you have to have your name, your date of birth, the time you're born, as well as your location. If you don't have all that information, you'll still be able to get your sun sign, your moon sign, and I say pay attention to your Venus as well as your Mercury when you're dealing with love writing readings. If you're due to my channel, I do give messages to the collective before I do give my readings. So if you're pressed on time, you can always go down to the comment section of the video to go directly to the beginning of the reading if you're pressed on time or if you don't want to hear me talk. Moving forward, if you use your free will to state that I talk too much, you will be blocked and not be able to come back on my channel. One of the gifts that I do uh, have is Claire Audiency, so I do have music in the background. I'm here to help you understand how to use that gift because as you being a human being, we all have the availability to tap into that gift to help us activate certain things that's in our blueprint, give us messages, help us move forward on our journeys, on our purpose, on whatever it is that we came here to do, okay? So I'm here to help you understand how to use that gift as well. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you have been here for a while, thank you for supporting me. Um, Cusp babies, I'm including you in my readings because your sun sign represents who you're trying to be before you pass over in this lifetime. So if you are a cusp baby, that means that you were born between two zodiacs. So that means that you're trying to harness both of those energies before you pass over in this lifetime. So if I state your date of birth, that means that you're a cusp baby. If I don't state your date of birth, that means that you are a regular Taurus as far as when it comes to your sun sign, okay? Um, so... Aries slash Taurus, April the 16th through April the 22nd. Aries slash Taurus, April the 16th through April the 22nd. And Taurus slash Gemini, May the 17th through May the 23rd. Taurus slash Gemini, May the 17th through May the 23rd. <clears throat> I am a cusp baby. My birthday is May the 17th. So I am both sides. I am been working more on my Taurus side for since 2009 in the beginning of 2020. Um, as far as when it comes to the placements that's in my chart and me being a sun sign Taurus. So I understand that with us being Tauruses, we are very misunderstood as far as you know, the, the overall zodiac. We are the ones that also um, are done um, considered as the one that puts our weakness gets, um, our kindness gets, you know, shown as weakness um, as far as when it comes to the people that we deal with, the things that we have. Um, dealing with in our environments, okay? Um, so Taurus is, as far as the energy updates, 
a uh, north node i'm including you in my readings because your north node represents your past life karma and the karma in this lifetime so it represents both your south node has to do with your past life karma so um since you are awakening to your true purpose especially if you're a twin flame a twin ray a divine partner a life partner um you are come into this journey with somebody else to complete a mission for the overall good of the earth your bloodline and so on um you waking up to remembering who you are the different people that's in your environment as far as with this full moon that took place on the ninth um was the virgo full moon it was also the wormhole full moon which basically just think about wormholes portals um activations remembering past life we're coming to realization of certain relationships that you're involved with as far as these people that's in your environment and i consider everybody as a soul tribe member regardless if they're bringing me good things or bad things um, i'm tied to these people in some type of shape or form especially if i dealt with them in past lives so it helps you understand exactly who you are what you dealt with what you need to overcome as far as any karma and other lifetimes um, that you need to, you know, remove yourself from, detach yourself from, heal from in order for you to stand in your true purpose in this lifetime. So a lot of us are getting pushed to heal mentally, physically, as well as emotionally, detached away from certain things, regardless if this is a lover, family, friends, a job, you know, certain, certain characteristics about ourselves that's not allowing us to love ourselves properly or stand in our true worth. So the journey that you're in, <clears throat> it's a mixture of different things. Plus, if you being a twin flame, a twin ray, a divine partner, a life partner, your mission with your other half is to bring back that unconditional love, showing the community and the collective what unconditional love is. On top of that, bringing that yin yin yang energy that we have lost so long ago as far as the feminine and masculine energy um, back together and united as one. Um, so that's what you represent. I tell everybody the Care Bears is the best scenario when I can give to twin flames, twin rays, divine partners, life partners, as far as when it comes to using your heart space, space um, using your heart chakra, pushing out that unconditional love to battle off the, you know, the evil forces, the people that don't want to have, you know, want us to be, you know, live, have certain things in life, experience certain things in life um, that's working against us, okay? <clears throat> Okay, so um, uh, energy, so full moon, we ended Mercury retrograde on March the 9th. Uh, still, you have that one, two weeks of that energy overlapping. And then daylight savings time for the people that take part of that. Remember, we, we lose two hours every time that we take part of daylight savings or rewinding, affording uh, and all that other stuff, rewinding and taking back or whatever. We lose two hours for that as well. Um, so that's energy as far as that. Uh, making sure you protect yourself during all moon, full moon and new moon phases um, for the rest of the year. Uh, full moons, I tell people to wear red stones, brown stones, black stones, blue stones, purple stones, green stones, um, would help them as far as protection during new moon energy where white stones, purple stones, blue stones, green stones, pink stones, red stones, um, green stones during new moons <clears throat> as far as when it comes to protection um, for yourself as well. Okay. Uh, the cards that I use in my videos, Taurus, have already been shuffled. Um, if you're interested in purchasing any of these decks that I use in my videos, they're also listed in the description box of my videos. I also have my own Amazon store where I, you could purchase the decks on Amazon if they're available on Amazon. Incense, heal, incense energy healing, stones, different things for your environment is available for you if you don't have a store that's in your area or if you're one of those people that don't like to go in public places or whatever the case may be, you have the availability to have it sent to your house um, as well. Um, new deck that I'm using, um, I have used this. You are the third person, well, actually the fourth because I try to do a cancer reading um, before your reading. I also did a, a Taurus reading before yours. It did not save, so hopefully... This saves, I'm not recording on YouTube, I'm recording it directly from my phone now, from my Samsung phone, so let's hopefully it saves. But I did spend two hours 
one hour, 45 minutes on cancer reading and, and 50 minutes on your reading tours before this one and it, neither one of them saved. So I'm hoping this one saves so I don't have to go through that. Um, them messing with my phones and stopping me from delaying, giving y'all messages. Y'all know that I've been experiencing that um, for a while since last year, since I've been standing in my true purpose, okay? So this, we're gonna shuffle and cut on camera. These are the ancestral tour decks. You'll very lovely cards as far as when it comes to our bloodlines, our cultures, the things that we have learned since we were children to help us understand where we are and where we're going as far as that. Um, and then we have... Um, the other cards have already been shuffled in your energy. We're going to go ahead and cut them on camera. If you're interested in your birth chart, it's also listed in the description box of the video underneath the Cafe Astrology link. Um, your birth chart uh, for that description box how do you get to the description box underneath the title there will be a triangle click on that triangle it will pop up the little description box music is going to be very significant for the rest of 2020 especially if you're in a twin flame twin ray divine partner relationship a life partner relationship um, as far as communication, especially since we're going through, you know, healing our heart activations, understanding what true unconditional love is outside of lust, loving ourselves, healing ourselves from things that have been, you know, traumatizing to us from our childhood until our adulthood into who we are now before we go into union. So there's a lot of communication that's going on in the spiritual realm, music, songs, uh, symbols, uh, letters different things to help you get messages from your tw your divine masculine your divine feminine the karmics also have availability to communicate in those realms as well um but again going through those different activations as far as when it comes to your clear audience the gifts that you have um to help you and shift you to where you need to be um so make sure you pay attention to whatever songs if there are certain songs that are playing over and over and over those can hurt, hold significant value to you and your journey even if you hear it over and over you can gain a new message every time you hear that song i know that's with me when i watch movies i'm like dang why didn't i understand that before dang there's a new message that i didn't see before so um it's very interesting how you know the universe uh you know in your higher self works with you and your ancestors work with you when it comes to getting these synchronicities and signs these messages um okay so make sure you don't deny any of that that's in front of you when you're getting that type of information And if any of the cards came out in the other reading, I'm going to go ahead and say that there. I will point it out in the reading. And bear with me with the shuffle, y'all. These cards are huge compared to my little fingers. So Taurus is I'm going to shuffle it three more times. This next time, what's ever at the bottom of the deck, I'm going to take it as part of your energy. <laughs> this damn card keeps coming out. Okay, it came out in my Aries reading. It came out in the Cancer reading. Now it's coming out in your reading. It didn't come out in your first reading, Tauruses, but it's coming out now. The good thing about this with this card coming out, it came out reversed in my Aries reading, in the Cancer reading that I tried to upload and I was not able to upload. It came out reversed. Now it's coming up upright 
in your reading but the card represents in the aries reading somebody needed to get in dna test as far as when it came to a child so i don't know if this is the same energy that's since transpiring with you tauruses or your masculine your feminine is involved with somebody that you know is it you saying that a baby is theirs and then finding out that a baby is not theirs that caused them to be in a standstill as far as stagnant energy and not making a decision okay but with the hangman card coming out this represents energy as far as cancer pisces as well as scorpio it also represents energy as far as you know surrendering seeing new perspectives to a certain situation it also represents energy as far as waiting so waiting for you know um things to change or let me try to get some more light okay is that better for y'all hopefully it is let me scoot up some low because i got the camera a different angle this time around okay There we go. Okay. Hangman card. Okay. Um, represents energy as far as procrastination. It represents energy as far as, you know, surrendering, seeing new perspectives. It represents energy as far as waiting mode. So waiting um, for certain to certain things to transpire, waiting for your ships to coming in, whatever your waiting mode is. But it represents more importantly, sacrificing, willing to sacrifice um, for a certain situation, accepting destiny for what it is. So some of y'all could be feeling like your masculine, your feminine could be procrastinating. There could be procrastination because it could be a behind a child, a pregnancy. This could be also the fact of them, them not making decisions Decision. let's say if they are involved with somebody else if there's third party energy if it's not a, a certain individual it could be family friends um you know other things a job uh you know them being prideful them being egotistical that was causing them from not making a decision okay but keeping you in waiting keeping you not you know not getting to that complete 10 with with the relationship between you and them okay is what i'm getting from this really hope this video saves i'm gonna be so upset if it don't save okay um we have the five of swords coming out upright we have the eight of cups being reversed um that came out in that cancer reading that didn't save um being reversed we have the princess of swords uh being um upright we have the Six of Stives, this came out in that Taurus reading. It also came out in the uh, Cancer reading. Um, it, it came, that card came out. And then we have the Prince of Sacred Circles. And this also came out in um, the Taurus reading that I just did, okay? So this represents the energy as far as the Prince of um, Circle represents energy as far as um, the Knight of uh, Pentacles. Um, with this being reversed, this represents that some of y'all could have been dealing with somebody that was very slow moving. This could be you, Taurus, as, as far as representation of somebody being very slow moving when it comes to making a decision, making an offer. You did have the hangman card coming out, so that represents procrastination. It also represents stagnant energy as far as somebody not making the decision, okay? So um, with the... Uh, uh, Knight of Pentacles being reversed. This represents energy as far as somebody being unreliable, somebody being irresponsible. Um, it also represents some energy as far as being insecure. So some of y'all could be dealing with, you know, somebody that's insecure. If this is you, Tauruses, you could have been dealing with insecurities as far as when it comes to your characteristics, as far as yourself, um, you know, not feeling like you're worthy enough or not feeling that you're good enough for a certain situation is what I'm hearing for this uh, lack of self-esteem. Um, with this being reversed, this also represents energy as far as impatient energy. So I feel that some of y'all grew very impatient with um, a person that you were dealing with. Let's say if some of y'all were involved in a third party situation, because a lot of us are when it comes to twin flames, twin rays, divine partners, and third party situations. I feel that somebody did commit and put time into another 
in relationship and that's the reason why they're coming out as far as this knight of pentacles being reversed so they put you know time and energy in another suitor or it could have been a job or put more energy in you know family friends or not putting the energy that they need to put into the relationship with their masculine their feminine okay is what i'm getting so i feel that somebody was not giving you know the a proper offer this could also represent energy as far as you know taking more than what they're giving um, in a relationship as well. So not being in a giving and receiving relationship too is what I'm getting from this energy too. Somebody not honoring their commitment. So somebody could have been dealing with somebody that was not honoring their commitment as far as when it comes to the relationship with you and this person. So they could have been, you know, it. Uh, I feel that the, the person that they were involved with, the, the relationship they were involved with, the relationship was something that was very... Um, it was not a solid foundation that they lay, they they tried to lay a solid foundation with this person. I feel it was very rocky when it comes to the relationship they were dealing with with this person, okay, is what I'm getting. But I do want to read the meaning of this card. So let me get it real quick. It says, learning experiences, revelance for the growth of processes made possible through the union of the sun and the earth can represents one's genetic father or fatherly role model a tutor teacher or mentor who shares knowledge and wisdom one who nurtures the young helping to develop newly planted ideas and concepts so some of y'all could be thinking about going on as a being a role model to the youth uh being a good role model um, some of y'all could have also issues as far as when it comes to fatherly or, you know, a specific role model um, uh, relationship. So it could be your father or brother. It could be an uncle where y'all are having issues as far as when dealing with that, as far as your childhood is what isn't getting. A lot of y'all are learning to mature yourself as far as when it comes to your masculine energy, um, even your motherly energy, um, but more importantly, your masculine energy as far as when it comes to nurturing yourself, Okay nurturing yourself taking care of yourself some of y'all could be gaining knowledge information from mentors from teachers um to help you take you to the next level is what i'm getting from that energy too okay my bad y'all um i had to stop the camera because my um oldest kid's dad came to get my son for spring break so I haven't seen my daughter. My daughter, my oldest daughter member is living with her dad. So she came and I had to stop and say hi and speak because I ain't seen her in a minute. Okay, so new song that came on when I was on uh, coming back upstairs and starting the music. And this is with a song that's on. So No Guidance by Chris Brown is on. And I know it plays a significant uh, meaning for me um, and my life partner. Um in our relationship that I have with him. So, um, and then we're both Tauruses, so it's another thing that's crazy too. Uh, so for this song to come on when I'm starting again, I'm now really like, okay, pay attention because I know I can gain messages for myself with me being a Taurus. So, um, so what was I saying? This person being slow when it comes to giving an offer. I do feel there's fears of, deception they didn't really love you running game using all your stupid exes gonna run tell them that a real nigga stepping in tell them that it's over ain't no debating all you need is me playing on your playlist you don't have to be frustrated so um i had to listen to those words because like I said, the song plays very significant for me and my life partner, and he's a rapper. So just for those parts, those the, the the lyrics of that song, when he says, all you need is to hear me is on your playlist, and which is really some real stuff in my situation. So um, I'm just happy that I could share that with y'all. And then I know y'all have y'all own experiences when it comes to Claire Audiency and certain songs. So that's just an example of me showing you how that works. Um, with the Five of Swords coming out, this represents energy as far as deception. It represents energy as far as feeling overall defeat as well as loss, okay? It represents energy as far as failure. 
um, greed as well as anxiety. So there could be all different types of factors as far as with this, but I, what I feel at this person, or it's either you Tauruses or the person that you're dealing with, they're feeling deception, um, fearing deception as far as when it comes to the relationship between you and them. Um, I, I feel that there could be somebody that could be overanalyzing um, certain situations as far as when it comes to the relationship between you and them. Um, I do feel like I said that there, let's say if this is such energy as far as the past, and let's say if you have been deceived in the past or if you dealt with deception in the past, Taurus, or your masculine, your feminine dealt with deception in the past, this could be a recurring circle that, you know, that this person is feeling as far as when it comes to the relationship. Um, I do feel with the eight of cups coming out and this being reversed, this represents energy as far as feeling abandoned. So this Taurus, your masculine, your feminine, or Taurus, you could have made your masculine, your feminine feel left abandoned or this could be again fears that you dealt with in past relationships that you're trying to overcome because the reason why I'm saying that is because I look at with this deck of cards the way that they have in this guy it's a child as the five of swords on here so I'm seeing that some of y'all are possibly trying to detach yourself from certain things that possibly happened to you in your childhood um, that you're trying to turn away from is what I'm hearing as far as with the issues that's going on with you, Taurus, or it's your masculine, your feminine, as far as when it comes to abandonment with that. And that could be something that caused them to not, you know, love themselves properly or have certain insecurities with themselves or not knowing how to love their masculine or love their feminine um, properly is what I'm getting. And this could be a reason why it's also hard for this person to commit or they are very fearful when it comes to giving a commitment to a relationship is what I'm getting. I do feel that some of y'all did turn away from this individual or this person turned away from you. Um, you do have the, pay, the princess of swords coming out and this represents the page of swords. So this represents air energy. So Aquarius, Libra, as well as Gemini. Um, when the page of swords comes out, this represents energy as far as communication. It represents somebody being in their thoughts. So I feel that this person is in their thoughts or towards you are in your thoughts I do feel that somebody has been in their thoughts too much where that has caused them to overanalyze or think of the worst in a certain situation more than what they should they need to and especially if you are experiencing any fears um tourists of a commitment or fears of you know insecurities within yourself as far as when it comes to your worthiness um this is the reason why this card is coming out okay so um I feel that they're they're thinking about you, Tauruses, or you're thinking about them is what I'm getting. This also represents communication. It represents student-like energy too. So some of y'all could be thinking about going back to a school. If it's not a school, this could be a job. It could be a new thing that you're taking part of as far as a project. So you're having to go through a learning phase as far as when it comes to maturing your, your skills, developing your skills um, for your success is what I'm getting. So with the six of sides coming out, this represents energy as far as the six of wands being reversed. So it represents energy as far as backstabbing. So a lot of y'all experience a lot of backstabbing, a lot of tr a betrayal. This could have been from your masculine, your feminine Taurus. If it was not your masculine, your feminine, this could have been other relationships that your masculine and feminine was involved with. There could be some betrayal going on right now as far as, let's say, if you are in a third party situation and this is the reason why you turned away from this person in the past. Are you detached yourself from this person, from your masculine, your feminine, because there was deception that was involved in that? Um, I do feel that some of y'all are um, realizing, again, the backstabbing that was involved as far as when it comes to the situation. Some of y'all were involved with somebody that was too prideful, um, you know, more of an ego-based person, more of a logical thinker, um, which brought, you know, them to controlling certain situations as well as being too prideful is what I'm hearing. You have the seven of staffs being reversed, which is the seven of wands being reversed. You have the six, the seven of pinnacles being reversed that came out in the Taurus reading. It was upright. Now it's coming out reversed. The two of sacred circles, which is the two of pinnacles that came out as well. This also came out in the um, Aries reading that I did, if I'm correct. Okay, so with the seven of stives being out, the seven of wands, it's being reversed. This represents energy as far as fighting, feeling threatened, um, quell. So I do feel that there's some back and forth. Let's say if you are dealing with somebody that is deceptive, if this is a karmic or a soulmate, there could be some arguing. There could be some verbal communication as far as, you know, back and forth as far as threats is what I'm hearing. I feel that somebody is arguing with somebody and they're threatening 
um, their foundation, they're re threading their stability is what I'm hearing. Somebody is threading somebody's stability. And that you're having to defend yourself, Tauruses, or your masculine, your feminine is having to defend yourself. Um, it was a hidden agenda to the person that they were dealing with or the person that they were involved with. This person did put time and energy into the relationship. You do have the seven of uh, pinnacles being reversed. So this represents energy as far as a bad investment, making, choosing, um, choosing the wrong choice, feeling like they invested in the wrong person, invested their time in the wrong places. This also represents energy as far as anxiety it also represents energy as far as being impatient so i feel that you're growing very impatient with this person's you know deceptive ways is what i'm hearing somebody is somebody is being very deceptive right now um and it has to do with your finances are some assets you have the two of sacred circles which is a two of pinnacles being reversed this represents energy as far as juggling what overweighing your options so i feel that let's say if there was some juggling that was transpiring between your masculine your feminine or tauruses you were juggling your masculine your feminine or your masculine your feminine feminine was juggling you this grew very overwhelming to them because again they were invested in some other things um, I feel if, the, if they were invested with this person, this person was either invested in them for the wrong reason, re reasons, reasons, or your masculine, your feminine was invested with this karmic or the soulmate for the wrong reasons. And it brought overwhelming energy, energy because of them trying to juggle the situation with them and then also juggle the situation with you is what I'm hearing. But I do feel that somebody walked away from a certain situation. You have the nine of stives. So this is the nine of wands. This represents energy as far as surrendering. It also represents energy as far as delays. Um, but more importantly, it represents stepping in your power, gaining your strength, doing what you need to do in order for you to become ambitious again. So, you know, taking that needed action. So I feel, let's say if this, your masculine, your feminine made you feel left abandoned because again, they were being deceptive. They had deceptive ways. If they were not, you know, lying, if they were being malicious, if they were in any type of one-up energy, or if they were involved with somebody else that was wanting up you as you being their masculine or feminine, I feel that you're gaining the strength. You're gaining your personal power back. Now you're gaining the courage where you can move on, you know, move forward um, and go on the next step is what I'm getting from this. But this is you working hard. This is you surrendering to the cause. Um, that's for the better of your in your situation is what I'm getting, Tauruses. You have the four of swords. So this represents energy as far as, um, and this card came out in the other Taurus reading, okay? So this represents energy as far as um, rest, no physical movement, um, you know, no communication possibly between your masculine, your feminine, um, you know, not spending the time or not, you know, doing the things that you need to do as far as when it comes to the relationship, detaching yourself. I feel that some of y'all possibly are getting needed rest. Let's say if you have been overworking yourself, they're saying for you to make sure you take the time and rest the way that you need to take the rest to get rest. Tauruses is what I'm hearing as well. But this also represents energy as far as predator energy so let's say even if you are trying to seclude yourself you're trying to get the healing that you need you're trying to you know gain um the knowledge that you need in order for you to just be a stronger person or even just make the right decisions i do feel that y'all have people that's in your environment and i consider these people as predators you know putting their opinion in wanting you to do this thinking that you should live your life this way um you know feeling that you should move this way or being in your business I do feel that y'all are dealing with that energy as well, okay? So um, detaching yourself from what's not servicing, serving you, having that needed me time when you need to have that needed me time, Taurus is our cross watchers. We have the five of sacred circles. So this represents the five of um, pinnacles. So this represents energy as far as insecurities. It represents energy as far as emotional crises as well as difficulties. So again, if they are dealing with somebody um, it was possibly because of the money. Either you had money, Tauruses, or this person you had or dealing with had money, or they had assets, or they had finances um, that you settled down for and you invested in this relationship for. 
I do feel that somebody had a hidden agenda as far as when it comes to this karmic relationship that you were involved in or the soulmate relationship. Um, it is a relationship outside of the masculine and the feminine relationship as far as your twin flame, twin ray, divine partner, or life partner is what I'm getting from. So I do feel that somebody was also possibly having issues as far as with money. I do feel that there possibly could have been some health issues as well. Let's say if you were dealing with anxiety from this person or you know dealing with anxiety from yourself. Um, that could have been a health issue that you were in dealing with as far as with this. Uh, but I feel that things are getting better as far as with, you know, let's say if you planted certain seeds as far as your career or your foundation, um, if they were not manifesting the way that you need them to manifest, I feel that things are getting ready to turn around and you not giving up um, and continue into working on your ideas and moving forward is going to bring a new energy about your your situation. And especially if you're detaching yourself from this situation that was temporary success, um, if, especially if somebody was being more uh, de uh, deceitful, um, especially if it's a karmic or soulmate, you detaching yourself from that is going to change things around in your life is what I'm hearing, okay? You have the king of sacred pinnacles so the king of um pinnacles this came out in the other reading as well so this is you taurus this represents energy as far as capricorn taurus as well as virgo somebody not honoring their commitment somebody possibly just there for the money just there for the finances this also represents energy as far as somebody being untrustworthy so i do feel that there was a hidden hidden a hidden agenda and it possibly had to do with money because there's a lot of money you have one you have one two three, four, five, five cards that have to do with money. You have air energy as far as manipulation, as far as when it comes to that. Um, so I do feel that somebody was just there for the money. They saw you as somebody that could provide for them financially, bring stability into um, their life. Um, this also represents energy as far as ending to a marriage. So there could be an ending to a commitment. Um, let's say if there is a karmic or soulmate relationship, they did invest into this relationship. It was temporary success is what I'm hearing. Um, or this, there was a, a hidden agenda behind the reason why this person settled down in that relationship is what I'm hearing. Whew. But a lot of money, and you also have the pages of the the page of pinnacles over here. A lot of money. The fool, yeah, being foolish, um, you know, living reckless, um, being irresponsible. This person was very closed minded, very narrow minded. They were not motivated um, as far as when it comes to the relationship between you and them is what I'm hearing. Some of them were dealing with somebody that was very reckless with money. They were just in it for the money is what I'm hearing. Somebody was just in it for the money. For sure. They fooled you out of your money is what I'm hearing. This person fooled you out of your money. Played you for your money. They played you for your money. This damn card. They played you for their money. This card came out in my um, Aries reading, which was giving Aries is the, the messages of getting a DNA call, DNA test for a child. It's coming out. It came out in the my cancer reading. I'm that cancer reading paused and stopped and wouldn't play on YouTube. Now I'm using my phone for it. It came out again in the Taurus reading, but it was upright. It was upright. You just saw it's coming out now reverse. So I do feel that some of y'all possibly got played for finances when it comes to children or, uh, you know, a child not being theirs or this person was just using you for assets. Let's say if it was a child not yours, there could have been they had children and you were providing for their children and, you know, being that fatherly role is what I'm getting. So I feel that somebody really got played out of their money. I feel that this person was using you for assets. They were using you to for a certain, you know, status um, in their life. Whew. If this person is coming back from your past, what's going on? You have the two of autumn. So this represents the two of pinnacles. 
again it's coming out it was reversed now it's coming up upright so this represents energy as far as making ends meet it represents energy as far as coming into harmony wanting to balance the situation between the relationship between you and them it also represents juggling so this person is reckon realizing that they were juggling you they were juggling other situations and if they were juggling a situation when the child is not theirs that's even going to make them feel even more foolish don't feel foolish taurus okay because this person manipulated you in order for you to believe that this was your child or they manipulated you out of your fi your finances don't feel that you are you you are foolish okay for doing that okay um that means that you're just very kind hearted and you're very humble and you're you're very nurturing and very loving and you were trying to make sure that this person was taken care of and you were you know you were happy about this baby or this child being yours or whatever the situation is but don't make yourself don't don't get down on yourself where you're in, you're making yourself feel like you were you were a fool okay don't do that um but oh juggling this situation was very overwhelming for you tauruses are very overwhelming for um your masculine your feminine is what i'm getting it says bring fun into everything you do juggling multiple priorities are jobs and exceptional talent uh, for multitasking so a lot of y'all could be multitasking your you know your home life your jobs your your relationship with yourself the relationship with your masculine your feminine your family your friends your children and so on so they're saying you know use that talents to the best of your abilities to get you out of certain situations as well to pro to occupy your time as well is what i'm hearing for this you have the prince of spring so this represents the energy of the page of 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 fire the page of wands i mean this represents the knight of wands excuse me so this represents energy as far as aries leo as well as sagittarius um the let me go back we have the hangman card which represents cancer pisces as well as scorpio you have the fool card which represents aquarius libra as well as gemini and virgo you have um the king of pentacles which represents taurus uh capricorn um and uh virgo aries leo as well as sagittarius with the knight of wands so this says charming self-confident passionate ruthless i mean excuse me restless restless okay so this represents some energy as far as somebody taking action somebody being daring being a bold being adventurous seeking the adventure being passionate so this person is coming in being passionate um they're being they're they're presenting themselves as a knight of wands um, but I feel that they're charging in more like the Knight of Swords as far as the Knight in Shining Armor. I just feel that there's a lot of passion that's coming behind this person. Let's say if they are realizing and they're they're owning up to their foolish ways or their foolish behavior, their reckless behavior, um, this person is coming in and they're going to be showing action as far as when it comes to the relationship between you and them. I do feel that this person could have been stagnant for a while and now they're making taking movement again if they were in the Four of Swords. That means that they were, you know, resting they were you know making sure that the dust settled between the relationship between you and them if there was any argument or if there was you know anything that was unsettled between you and them um it says immediate action a challenge you can successfully manage a passionate relationship so this person is coming in there could be intimacy that's involved there could be a pregnancy that does transpire that did show up in the last reading that i that i tried to do in post for you tauruses you have the queen of springs yes definitely this person sees you as somebody that's very sexy very confident um sees you as somebody that's a good performer you fought for the relationship very passionate okay they're very attractive to you this is you not being afraid this is you stepping in your confidence okay fighting for what it is that you know that is yours defending yourself okay so it says brilliant loyal talented friendly so this represents more fire energy aries leo as well as sagittarius it says believe in yourself wonderful people want to help you maintain a balance between work and home life so make sure you're multitasking and you're having that balance between your home life your work life your relationship life and so on 
also wonderful people wanting to work with you. So you could have some Soul Tribe members coming in to help you bring abundance. So let's say if you were having issues with your financial stability, you'd be having certain people that's wanting to partner up with you, invest in you, help you to the next step when it comes to bringing stability into your life is what I'm getting. You do have some loyal people that is around you, okay, is what I'm hearing, Tauruses. You do have some loyal people that's around you. True love. So you know that this person is your true love. You know that this person was destined. You and this person was destined to be together. It says this is a romance of a lifetime. So the feelings are mutual. Um, not denying how y'all truly feel about each other. Knowing that you know you this person holds a piece of your heart and they you hold a piece of their heart is what I'm getting from this. Keep an open mind. So it says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So there could be a difference. There could be an age difference. There could be a maturity level. There could be different roles um, as far as morals that you and this person experience as far as your childhood, have different ways of life, a different style, okay? A different style. Opposites attract is what I'm hearing. Um, you never felt, you thought that this person would be, you know, somebody that was your soulmate, your other half somebody that you were destined to be with and y'all could be so much different from each other, okay? Um, is what I'm hearing. Or y'all could be so much alike and it scares you. That's what I just heard. You and this person is so much alike and it scares you. Soulmate. <laughs> I can't make this up and that's the reason why they're your soulmate if y'all are so much alike. <laughs> this is the who the universe puts you here to be with, okay, Tauruses? So it says, yes, this is your soulmate. No longer denying those feelings. No longer denying the connection um, that you and this person has with one another is what I'm hearing. You have hummingbird spirit. So it says, be here now. So living in the now, living in the present moment, okay? Living in the present moment, living in the now, not living in the past, not living in your future. Okay, you have a 34, a seven. Sevens represents uh, mysteries, DNA activation, signs, synchronicities, seeing numbers, letters, um, spiritual realm, dreams, deja vu moments, all that represents those sevens, okay? Owl spirit, you can sleep clearly now. You can see clearly now the rain is gone, okay? This song, this card came out, I want to say in my Aries reading. If it was not my Aries reading, it was the Cancer's reading and I was not able to save it. But it did come out um, in that one of those readings. So we have a 43, a seven, another seven. So seven, seven. Somebody's going through a major spiritual awakening. They're no longer getting ready to play the fool is what I'm hearing. No longer getting ready to play the fool. Okay. Um, so you're seeing clearly every the signs and synchronicities that you're getting are allowing you to see clearly. Um, you're connecting with your higher self. You're connecting with your ancestors. You're able to receive the messages that you're receiving to help you move forward is what I'm hearing, Tauruses. Wow, look, a 34 and then a 43. So those numbers could be significant to you. Sevens could be significant to you right now, Tauruses. A 13, another four. Wow. Fours bring stability. So bringing that confidence back, gaining control back of your life, okay? Gaining control back of your life, being stable with your emotions, being confident with yourself. Right back by Collide. I love this song. They be calling you Illuminati when I'm with you. I love when he says that they be calling you Illuminati when I'm with you. So that's pretty much probably, let's say one of y'all could be more spiritually in tune or more, you know, on a spiritual level and you could be more religious or this person could be totally dip different. They could be intuitive. They could be, you know, a black sheep to their family because they're different. You know, they're outside of the box is what I'm hearing. But claim your independence, okay? Gaining your stability, gaining your confidence, gaining your freedom. Okay, detaching yourself from whatever it is no longer serving you. A lot of y'all could be ending a relationship and, you know, breaking free from that and allowing yourself to open doors to your soulmate is what I'm hearing. If this is an ending to a relationship and you're walking away from somebody that was being decept deceiving to you. Okay, some of y'all could be ending a relationship with an, an earth sign and going into a relationship with the fire sign by the end of the year is what I'm hearing.
expression. So expressing yourself, um, you know, speaking your truth. So it says you are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them to into action or love. Um, so of love. So basically expressing yourself, this person is getting ready to be truthful. You're getting ready to be truthful. Okay. Uh, making sure you're, you know, watching your words when you express yourself. This person loves your face expressions is what I'm hearing. Your sex, your sex facial expressions is what I heard. <laughs> okay <laughs> detachment so detaching um from a certain situation like i said that's no longer serving you if this is a relationship if this is you know over analyzing if this is controlling characteristics about yourself if this is relationships with family friends a job you know whatever it is that you're removing yourself out of getting yourself out of those certain patterns that was keeping you stuck so it says you are releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your highest idea of love okay vision i can see clearly now the rain is gone oh everything is making sense x-ray vision Okay, this person has been in your vision for a while and that's the reason why you know that they are soulmate is what I'm hearing. You get visions, you've been dreaming about this person. This person is dreaming about you heavily. Again, they're in their thoughts. Okay, so it says no matter what, you see the bigger picture of the loving. No matter what, you see the bigger picture of a loving just universe okay self-care and intrigation so making sure you take care of yourself um self-healing self-love okay setting up boundaries being responsible with yourself disciplining yourself standing in your integrity okay speaking your truth expresses self-love This came out in that Taurus reading. It says create and express. So create. So ideas, whatever ideas that you're getting, make sure that you plant those seeds, Taurus. That was in the last reading. So I'm going to say it in this reading since this card came out. So whatever ideas that you're getting, make sure that you're, you know, you're planting those seeds. You're watering those seeds. You're nurturing those seeds into a full harvest. Uh, make sure you're expressing yourself in your music, whatever you're doing, your project showing your uniqueness, um, showing, you know, how different you are, not being afraid to shine is what I'm hearing. Transformation, so that rebirth, growth, okay, um, letting go, death of an ego, a rebirth, feeling renewed, ending of closures. Trust and have faith. So keeping your trust, keeping your hope alive, having faith that everything is going to work out in your favor. Leaving or traveling. So a lot of y'all could be needing to travel towards your masculine, your feminine. Some of y'all could be going on vacation together. Some of y'all could be planning a vacation. Um, you know, even if it's a five minute distance between your masculine and your feminine, that still requires some type of travel is what I'm hearing from this. Some of y'all taking flights is what I'm hearing. Y'all are not letting the coronavirus stop you <laughs> is what I'm hearing. Some people are getting ready to take flights. Um, some of y'all could be traveling. Like I said, it's spring break. So there could be a lot of traveling that's transpiring right now. Okay. Galactic. So some of y'all could be star seeds. Some of y'all know that y'all are not from here. You're from another planet. Yeah, some of y'all know that there's a galactic war that's going on and you not you need to get yourself prepared for the transformation for that. Because y'all been getting visions, dreams, is what I'm hearing. Some of y'all could be starseed babies. So hopefully this reading resonates with you. If it does resonate with you, like my channel, subscribe to my channel. And I just want to say thank you and you have a great day.